Hi everyone, welcome to TCM Time Live. That's traditional Chinese medicine with me, Kathy Young. Welcome to my 20 minute training routine for the Four Seasons Qigong medical set. We're doing our, or focusing on our autumn set, which will strengthen your lung health and immunity. In our previous classes, we've been focusing on following the lung channel, which starts from the corner of the chest, making a big thumbs up for inspiration, taking that deep breath, and drawing a white line, because the lungs are considered a metal element in Chinese medicine, a white line all the way down to your thumb. And just give it a brush from the corner of your chest, all the way down past your elbow crease, past your wrist crease, going to the thumb. And a third time to remember the lung channel, radiating out to your thumb for inspiration. So we've been focusing on the lung channel, acupressure points, and how they relate with each autumn set movement. So in our last class, so we're in our sixth week out of seven weeks, we have one more class to go. In our last class, we focused on three acupressure points by your wrist. So if everybody can take your three fingers and find your wrist crease, gently put your thumb, your three fingers, right on the wrist, close to the wrist crease. So we focused on these three points. We found that lung seven, this is on making that thumbs up movement and a handshake movement. You can find this point, lung seven, called the broken sequence as it goes off of the line. Lung seven strengthens your lung immunity, giving you more qi. More qi means more energy, so that protective shield. We also learned about lung number eight. This is the yellow dot here. Lung number eight, which is about one inch from your wrist crease. Lung eight, we call the channel gutter. The gutter, like think of something like the garbage that you need to get rid of, the wastes. Every time you breathe, every time you exhale, Let's take in a deep breath, inhale. And every time you exhale, you're exhaling out the toxins. Do a second time, inhale. Exhale, breathe out the toxins. One more time with that channel gutter, lung number eight, inhale. And spread your wrists, twist it out, exhale, letting go of those toxins. So we found lung number eight, getting rid of those toxins so we can breathe better and shine better from our inner part of our soul. We also found lung number nine that's here exactly on the wrist crease when you wave goodbye. Lung number nine, this is the blue dot you see here on the thumb side. Lung number nine is one of the strongest energy points for increasing your lung energy and also something called your lung yin. Yin, Y-I-N, that's think of it as your cooling fluids of your body. So your lungs need to stay moist so it can expand and be flexible as you breathe. Expand and shrink. So these three points we found last week help to strengthen our immune system and also the moisture in our lungs. Lung number seven, the broken sequence, the red point. You have lung number eight, the gutter. And lung number nine, strengthening your lung qi and yin. And they're symmetrical on both sides. So let's give two thumbs up to remember they're symmetrical. Yay, <laughs> good. And let's trace that lung channel coming from the corner of your chest all the way down to your thumb. Today we'll find two more points to finish the lung channel. Everybody touching the corner of your chest. This is lung number one where the energy starts coming from the lungs. Coming down past your biceps, remember the biceps, this gives you a reminder to comfort somebody connected with the lung inspiration. Coming past your elbow crease, this is your cubit marsh, also moisturizing your lungs. Coming all the way down to your three points, lung seven, eight, and nine, by your wrist crease every time we bend the wrists. And we're going to finish today with the thumb going all the way to the radial side of the thumb. That means the thumb side of the thumb. So let's trace the other side. Give me those two thumbs up really high, full of inspiration. And let's take in a deep breath. Inhale deeply. Give yourself inspiration. 
and give that inspiration to others. Second time, inhale, open your chest nice and wide. Bring in the inspiration for yourself and inspiration for others. Awesome. Let's go a third time. Really bring it in. Inhale. Full of inspiration for yourself and for others. Big smiles. Awesome. So let's trace the other side because lung channel symmetrical. Coming from the corner of your chest, lung number one. And we come lung one and number one and two is here for descending and dispersing your chi, your energy. Coming by the biceps, grab your biceps, lung three and four. For comforting somebody, grab their shoulder. Good for inspiration. Coming past your elbow crease on the thumb side, lung five. Moisturizing your lungs, clearing any damp heat. All the way down, we're passing lung six, stopping bleeding. Anytime you're coughing up blood, about halfway on the forearm. And you're going to come all the way touching those three fingers on that wrist crease every time you bend. Good. That strengthens your immune system, number seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to finish today with lung 10, called the fish border, and coming all the way to the nail, the corner of the nail. This is called your lesser metal, lung 11. So let's give that thumbs up. Let's find num lung number 10 and 11 to finish the channel. So you'll see I've drawn a line around my thumb bone. This here, anytime you go past your wrists, this here is called your metacarpal bones. Meta means beyond. Carpal, that means your carpal, that's your wrist, like carpal tunnel syndrome. So here, when we come to the thumb side, give that thumbs up, feel this bone right between your thumb, thumbs up and beyond your wrist. This here, the metacarpal bone, we're looking for the halfway point. See if you can feel the edges of this metacarpal bone and feel the center, the midpoint. Here, you're going to roll between what we call the red and white skin. This is going to roll between the bone and the muscle. See if you can roll around, come from your bone side, and see if you can find a little space that's between your bone and your thumb muscle. Take a deep breath. Good, I'm going to put a sticker there so it'll help you remember. So here we have lung number 10, just by halfway point of the metacarpal bone. This is very good for clearing heat, everybody touching your throat, when you have a sore throat, when you feel like you lost your voice, or anytime you have heat, that fever feeling, feverish feeling. So push this point. Think of the blue to cool you down, right between the muscle and the bone. Gently squeeze, and let's take in a deep breath. Second time, really push in there. Find that depression between the bone and the muscle. Take a deep breath. And exhale, good. And one more time, think of any time you have that sore throat, lost, losing your voice or fever, take in that deep breath and gently push in. Circle around like you're a plumber trying to open up a clog. Good. So here, anytime you feel it might be a little sore, a little sore means there's some imbalance. So you want to gently massage it till it's the, no longer sore. So here that means the energy is balanced. So to find it on the other side, Look for that metacarpal beyond your wrist, between your thumb. So here, this first metacarpal bone, halfway point, and try to feel the edges, finding the halfway point, and putting right between the bone and the muscle, lung number 10. That's called the fish border, clearing the heat. Very nice. Let's take a deep breath on that thumb side. Lung number 10, think of that fish border in the waters, clearing that heat. <sighs> Helping you to help your sore throat. Helping you with loss of voice and for fever. Very good. So we're going to finish now with lung number 11. So give me those thumbs up. Yes. And look on the thumb side of your nail. 
So when I say thumb side, this is your radial side. Go more towards your thumb, away from the pinky. And you're going to stay on that edge from that fish border, coming to the corner, the radial corner of that nail. Gently push. So we'll put in a little sticker there. So here, stay on the thumb side, that radial corner of that thumb. Just a very small point. We use this in acupuncture sometimes to bleed it a little. That releases a lot of heat. Everybody, let's gently squeeze the corners of your nails. And anytime you're feeling you're catching a cold, helping to clear any type of wind, we say catching the wind, cold or wind heat symptoms. So let's squeeze that nail, take a deep breath. Exhale. This is very good if you feel faint, like you're going to faint and lose consciousness. So let's squeeze this point to regain the consciousness. Very good. Also good for asthma when you feel the lungs are really tight. Gently squeeze. Lung 11. Take a deep breath. This is the lesser metal. Good. And let's just find it on the other side. So we have coming to the thumb, stay on the radial side, going more towards the thumb, away from the pinky, and you're going to squeeze that corner, the radial corner of that nail. Gently squeeze with your thumb, take in three deep breaths, helping you to regain consciousness when you lose consciousness, when you feel faint from the heat, take a deep breath. If you're feeling asthma, tightness in your chest. Very good. So we've got lung 10. That's the fish border right on the thumb muscles, metacarpal. You have your two radial points on the, on the corner of the nails to clear that heat, the lesser metal. So let's pay attention to these points as we're moving our arms, doing the nine exercises of the autumn set to strengthen our lung health. So let's begin our 20 minute training routine. Just simply starting with number one, forward and backward, swinging the arms. Gently go forward and backward. Every time you go forward, feel the front of your lungs relax. Take in more oxygen and blood. Every time you push your shoulders, elbows and wrists back, feel the energy shift to the back of your lungs helping it to cool down and take in a deeper breath. Gently forward and gently back. Together one more time, gently forward. Feel the energy go to your wrists and beyond to your thumb, strengthening your lung immunity and clearing that heat. All the way back, feel that wrist gently bend. Good. So see if you can repeat three times at your own pace in the front. Forward and backward, swing the arms. Feel free to go faster. Feel free to go slower. slowly in the front we're going to twist our waist and do to the right turn to the right forward and backward swing the arms on the right side this helps our liver right beneath the ribs helping to soothe any stress and emotions of anger and frustration forward and backward swing the arms three times on the right Pay attention to the thumb, the fish border, metacarpal bone, all the way to the thumbnail, the lesser metal, lung 11. Slowly finishing on the right. Let's twist our waist to the left, forward and backward, swinging the arms on the left, helping our spleen beneath the ribs, spleen and pancreas. This helps us to digest our food, but also to regulate and balance our worries. So let's gently throw those worries away on the left. Let it go all the way through your fingers. 
and release, pushing it back. At your own pace, three times, forward and backward, swing the arms on the left. Nice and high, feel those lungs relax. And nice and far beyond behind you. Very nice, slowly finishing on your left, coming back to the center, just gently slowing down the movement three times. We're going to get ready to do number two. That's the left and right, turn the windlass. So imagine you're grabbing two wheels, a windlass rolls up a rope, so let's go forward first, rolling the windlass down. Rolling, imagine there's a bucket of water and you're rolling it down in a well, trying to access more moisture, more water for your lungs. So feel that wrist crease bend. Good, helping strengthen your lung immunity all the way to the fish border, lung 10 and lung 11 to clear the heat. Let's go forward three times at your own pace, just in big circles. For the left and right, turn the windlass three times in the front. Really open that chest, gently squat down, helping the energy also to flow down to the legs. Finishing in the front, gently turn to your right, left and right, turn to windlass, on the right for our liver. Three times, arcing the back and straightening the back. Keeping the head upright to keep your center. Inhale, exhale. Slowly finishing on the right, twisting the waist, turn to the left, left and right, turn the windlass on your left. Feel your wrist creases and your thumb gently relax. Good, finishing up three times on the left. Let's turn back to the center, making the windlass circle smaller and smaller. We're gonna get ready to reverse the windlass. So imagine you're pulling up the rope, pulling up that pail of water from the well to drink the water and moisturize your lungs. Gently reverse the circle, pulling the windlass, the two wheels gently back. Good, feel the corners of your chest, gently squeeze. And as your elbows go back, gently stretch. Gently squeeze, helping to disperse and descend the lung energy for any symptoms of cough, asthma, difficulty breathing. Three times forward, gently pulling that windlass back in the front. Very good, finishing in the front. Come from the center, turn that windlass on your right, gently harmonizing your liver, easing any emotions of anger and stress. Three times at your own pace. Feel yourself squeezing that liver and lifting up, stretching that liver point. Slowly finishing, turning the windlass on the right, come to the center and turn from the left. Helping to harmonize your spleen energy for your digestion and emotions of worry. Two more times on the left. Very good, finishing on the left easing those worries and coming back to the center, making your circle smaller and smaller. 
Slowly finishing number two. We're gonna lift our arms up to go to number three. The feudal Lord pulls the bow, keeping your elbows bent for lung number five to moisturize the lungs and clear any damp heat. We're going to squeeze the elbows in and imagine you're pulling a bow and arrow, your feudal Lord pulling the bow as wide as you can. Every time you come forward, feel that squeeze in lung one and two. And pushing back from your biceps, lung three and four, reminding yourself of that vastness, that infinite white, that's part of the heaven energy. Pushing your elbows back and shoulders back. Taking that deep breath. Gently squeeze, feel the front of your lungs. Feudal Lord pulls the bow and feel the back of your lungs. Feel free to breathe, inhale or exhale at your own pace. Feudal Lord pulls the bow three times in the front. Gently arc your chest when you come forward, feeling the front of your lungs. And stretch it open, expand your chest, feeling the back of your lungs. Finishing one more time in the front. We're going to turn to the right. Squeeze from the center, twisting your waist, opening and closing that bow and arrow on your right. Three times at your own pace. Feel any emotions of anger gently dissipate. Finishing up one more time. Squeeze and finish. Coming from the center, twist your left three times for your spleen on the left and gently letting go of any worries. Feel that squeeze of your spleen and the stretch. One more time. Good, finishing on your left, come back to the front. Just gently relax three times. We'll change the angle just to experience the different angles of feudal Lord pulls the bow. Let's lift the elbows and pull that bow and arrow over your head like two rainbows, two sunshine. And back to the center, two more times, opening the bow and arrow over your head, really squeeze, gently curl in your thumb to open lung 10 and lung 11, as wide as you can. Very nice. Coming back to the center, let's pull that bow and arrow nice and low, below our belly button and across the belly. Bending that elbow crease, coming to the center, and pull that bow and arrow across your belly. Last time, finishing up, feudal board pulls the bow number three. We're going to bring our arms to the chest, coming to number four, immortal pushes the stone tablet. Gently having your back hand out horizontally, stretching open lung one and two, squeezing lung five on the elbow crease, and your front hand gently extend as far as you can. This will strengthen that lung energy going all the way to the thumb. Gently pull back with a vertical hand on the thumb. You'll feel your lung energy open up from the wrist and feel that lung 10 and 11 pull towards you, clearing heat, helping your sore throat, fever, loss of consciousness, and fainting. 
Coming in from the center, change, front hand forward, back hand horizontal. Really stretch open your whole lung channel so the energy flows. Continue for three times forward at your own pace. Good job, finishing on the front. We're gonna turn to the right. Feel the Lord pulls the bow on the right. Gently turn and look behind, stretching your lungs, your whole chest and neck area going to your lungs. Three times on the right. Immortal pushes the stone tablet. One more time on the right. Good, finishing up on the right, from the center, twist your left for your spleen. Immortal pushes the stone tablet on your left. And gently look behind, feel that stretch from your whole chest and your neck. Two more times at your own pace. Awesome, feeling that stretch right in your lung channel. Coming back to the center, just gently relax three times. Feel that whole thumb channel opened up. Nice stretch and the chi flows. Good, we're going to finish number four, going to number five. This is called the large rock arcs its wings. Remember that large rock is that legendary bird and its wings are very big. Gently twist your thumb in the front opening that fish border, lung 10, and all the way to your thumb, radio side of your thumbnail, opening that lesser metal, lung 11, arcing your wings in the front. Inhale, back in, twisting the thumb, the whole lung channel, and arcing your wings in the front. Inhale, twist that thumb, arcing your wings, feel the front of your lungs nice and relaxed. Number five, continue three times in the front. Large rock, arcs its wings. Gently squat down every time you arc your wings in the front. Strengthening your legs and the energy channel organs going to your legs. Let's go one more time in the front and then turn to the right. Large rock arcs its wings, twist your waist three times on the right. Feel that whole twist of your whole thumb muscle. Clearing that heat for sore throat, loss of voice, and any fevers, let it go. Good, coming back to the center, finishing on the right. Twist to your left, three times, large rock arcs its wings on the left. Really give that whole thumb channel, that lung channel, a good twist. Finishing that three times on the left. Gently come back to the center, three movements, nice and small. Finishing slowly in the front, we're going to finish number five, large rock arcs its wings. We're gonna to go to number six, large rock spreads its wings. So we're gonna twist in the front, and we're gonna shift our shoulders back, elbows back, and the wrist back. Feel long one and two, corners of the chest open up, and feel your wrist crease gently bend and twist. Large rock spreading its wings in the back to strengthen the back of your lungs, shifting the energy back for any asthma. 
and emotions of anxiety coming to the front. Twist that whole thumb and shift back. Continue three times at your own pace in the front. Number six, large rock spreading its wings. One more time. Gently feel also your chest expand. Open up, slightly lift your chin. Clearing any emotions of anxiety. Twisting now from the center to the right. Continue three times. Large rock spreading its wings on the right for your liver. Finishing on your right, come from your center, twist the waist to your left, three times, large rock spreads its wings on the left for your spleen. Pay attention to the bend of the elbow crease and the wrist crease and feel it stretch open as you go back. Two more times at your own pace. Good, feeling that stretch. And slowly come back to the center. Just three times, nice and relaxed. Finishing number six, large, spreading its wings. We're going to open our stance, going to number seven. Sway your head and swing your tail. Gently open your stance slightly wider than your shoulders. And if you have any back pain, just stay up high. Everybody else, go as low as you can. You're gonna twist your thumb muscle towards you, opening lung 10 and 11, and feel that wrist crease bend, land on your knees. You're gonna sway your head to one side, hovering your chest over one knee, and wag your tail, imaginary tail, to the opposite side. This is helping your front of your lungs, the sides, to gently relax and bring in more chi, more blood, and circulation. Sway your head to the opposite side, down low, and open to your other side, wagging your tail. Feeling your kidneys open up in your lower back. This will help you with the emotions of fear. Sway your head again, nice and low, to opposite side, and wag your tail. Continue for three times at your own pace. Sway your head and swing the tail. Good, slowly finishing at this height. We're gonna come up a little higher to the waist level, just below the waist and continue. Swing your head and swing your tail three times. Feel that stretch in your lower back for your kidneys, easing out and strengthening your coping against fear. Finishing three times at this level, we're gonna come up a little higher to above your waist on top of your hip bones. Three more times, sway your head and swing your tail. Number seven. Feel that twist in your wrist crease and the relaxation in the front and sides of your lungs. Finishing up, number seven, coming to the center, nice and relaxed. Just sway three times. We're going to go to number eight, baby bird request for food. Bring our arms forward, have your elbow crease be like a baby wings, 
and you're lifting it up using lung three and four on the biceps, strengthening your ability to cope with any emotions of sadness and depression, lifting up your baby wings and requesting for food in the front three times. Inhale and squat down, gently exhale. Continue two more times at your own pace. Slowly also involve your wrist crease, feel it bend and feel it stretch. Finishing up in the front, have your baby bird fly to your right. Baby bird request for food three times on the right. Slowly finishing on your right, have your baby bird fly to your left, asking for food on your left three times. Very good, finishing on your left. Let's come back to the center. Let's make that baby bird really happy. It's received the food. So have your baby wings go nice and high, as high as your smile, three times. Baby bird receiving food. Good, and slowly relaxing three times. Finishing number eight. Baby bird request for food. We're going to finish now with number nine. The white crane shakes its wings. Have your baby wings grow out to large white crane wings, and you're gonna circle it forward palm up as you go by your waist, bring your shoulder, elbow, and wrist forward. Feeling that lung channel from the corner of your chest, gently circulate. Palm up by your waist, inhale. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists, circle it forward. Inhale, arc your chest and your lower back, exhale. White crane shakes its wings three times in the front. Very good. Finishing in the front, twist your waist to the right, squeezing that liver. Opening your chest for your lungs, healing any emotions of sadness. Really spread those wings and shake it forward. One more time. Squeeze that liver and stretch. From the center, let's twist to the left. Three times on the left for the spleen. Emotions of worry. And gently squeeze all those worries out like a sponge. Feel that twist of your whole thumb going all the way to your pinky, twisting the pinky for your heart. That's where the heart energy flows, helping you with the emotion of joy. Finishing in the front, coming back to the center. Let's go one wing at a time, one hand on the center below the belly button, and just shake out your wing three times by yourself. Feel that twist. And then change arms, using your whole hip, knees, and ankle to twist. This will strengthen your legs and help you balance better. Good. And last, let's alternate left and right. Alternate shaking up that wing, left and right. Gently relax your chest and relax your waist and your lower back. Awesome job. You finished your nine exercises of the autumn set, lung channel, strengthening your lungs and immune system. Let's come back to the center. This is our energy center below the belly button. Let's close our eyes for three deep breaths with a big inner smile towards your lungs. Full of inspiration. One 
one more big smile. Inhale deeply to your lungs. Giving your lungs full of love and appreciation. And let's open our eyes with big smiles. Let's open our chest and the corners of our chest for that long one, spreading it all the way to your thumb and let it shine. Let's bring it in for a big hug. Very happy you joined me for this 20 minute training routine. Give yourself a pat. Good, awesome job. So hope you'll join me next week for the last class. We'll review all the lung points, the 11 points on the lung channel going to the thumb. Good, and I'll have one more class. There's a post Christmas special class that I'll be doing called White Crane Hard Qigong. Hard Qigong is learning how to tense slightly your arms, your body, and your legs. When you slightly tense, this builds up your immune system, radiating the qi to the surface of your body and skin. So this is one of the best ways to strengthen your body, but also strengthen your immune system. And you'll see all these movements that also strengthens your lung channel. Good. So I'll talk about more next class, and I hope you'll join me. Till next time, this is TCM time. Keep letting your house shine. Thank you. Good, and let me see who's here. So Ed earlier, hi Ed, thanks for joining. You're such a great support. Teresa too, thank you Teresa, big heart. I got Jim and Ann, hey Jim and Ann, big hugs. Hey, I got Angela too, hey Angela. Okay, good. I'm so happy you made it. See you tonight for the Tai Chi class. I got Maria too. Hi, Maria. You're back again. I'm happy. Good. And I'll answer your email soon. I got Richard. Hey, Richard. Dr. Richard Workman. Thanks, Dr. Richard. Good. And Chiyoko. Hey, Chiyoko. Thank you so much. Everybody, I give you big hearts from my lungs. Bigger heart. And I hope to see you next week or tonight for class. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. <laughs> See you.